Hello everybody and welcome on board this Seakit 46 for a look around her interior in detail with Tim from Berkshire Drop Brokers and we, we're going to take you on this tour to give you an idea of how the space is, what, what, what's fitted, where it's fitted, how the space flows etc to give you a really good idea of what this boat is all about. So uh, as you can possibly guess I'm standing at the port forward corner looking uh, to the towards the starboard aft section of the saloon and I think we'll start up here. So just turning around you can see that uh, I entered the boat through this uh, sliding door. There's one port, one starboard, slides out the way, gives you really great access down and in very easily. We've got uh, a nice wide aperture there, so really good, really good to get in and out. Underneath, we've got, we've got a, a drawer or a cupboard fitted each side as well. And we'll come to the, the other one very shortly. But if we look along the uh, port side, Slightly after you can see starting from the top, look at the deck head, absolutely lovely, really lovely headlining, lovely wood. We've got a really nice long grab rail here to help get ourselves around a bit. We've got massive tall windows uh, with an opener on each side, letting lots of light and the opener letting lots of air in. We've got curtains all around as well, feeling really, really lovely light bright and airy even though we have a darker wood in here absolutely lovely so we're looking down at the neighbors generally and feeling like we're uh, on top of the world looking down a little bit inside the boat you can see we uh, we have uh, some really nice uh, vintage features around this boat which uh, would be a crime to remove and uh, looking on the port side down here a little bit you can see we've got this really nice bureau so we've got uh, a fiddled shelf there we've got uh, drawers we've got cupboards for all your bits and pieces that you're not sure where to go a couple of sockets there and then moving after we've got uh, a couple of really nice chairs which will assist with eating at the nice big saloon table there we'll look at that in a moment and carry on after you can see we've got a lovely big cupboard in the port aft corner we've got a fiddle shelf on top we've got a double socket we've got uh, carbon monoxide and smoke alarms there so uh, all really really rather nice this ladder does take away if you want to but uh, behind it there's a bit more stowage but also if you just look up you can see that we've got a really nice companion way now this does let out onto the after deck and if i can do it single-handedly let's have a little go yes that seems to be working open this sliding hatch and there we go we've got access straight out onto the after deck which is lovely not only to get in and out of but also just to let more light and air in also very very nice indeed looking down you can see we've got parquet flooring all the way throughout this boat apart from in the heads compartments looks really nice now it does look uh, we've got some wear and tear etc but uh, i really don't think i would do anything to this because i think it just it's just con it's it's concentric with the boat and, and her age etc and uh, you will notice that we've got one two uh, unbelie underneath here i think we have three four lifting hatches there so uh, they will pull out and allow access to the engine room so allow you to get big bits in and out but also to give you more air and head height should you be working down there and uh, access to the top of the engines the fuel tanks all that kind of stuff so really really handy and very nice and easy to get to and just uh, while we're talking about that that is the the kind of daily working hatch which is hinged open that up you've got a ladder down below so you can crawl about and do your hourly checks at sea or even alongside would be up to you but uh, we do recommend going down there regularly and really understanding what is down there and how it works what it does and what you should check etc but we're here to have a look around the boat so here we go this is uh, the companion way which uh, which takes us down aft to the aft cabins the aft accommodation so let's go and have a look shall we now i will turn to the starboard side first there's a door here let's open up and see what we find inside here we go we've got the after cabin so looking towards the front of the cabin so this is a forward end now you can see this looks unfinished that's because it is we have just been through a work period. We've had some engine room repairs. We've had some repairs in here, and we've had some repairs to the uh, to the companionway above. All sorted, just needs finishing off. So this current owner has elected to leave it and another compartment that we'll see very shortly in this condition, so that the new owner can finish it off as he or she pleases with cupboards or with uh, some kind of wall finishing. That may be up to you. Looking up, you can see we've got nice headlining in here as well. We've got windows all the way along the port side, one aft as well, all opening up 
out, which is lovely. It should be kept closed at sea, just so you know. And uh, we've got a bureau here as well, or dressing cabinet, etc., with drawers, cupboards in, etc., etc. The uh, parquet flooring continues through here. We've got uh, another access to the bilge down here. There are, there's bilge access all over this boat, which is really lovely. And in here, you can access the stone gland too. And uh, in the put very port aft corner of the boat, you've got what I would call a Pullman style set of bunk beds. So we've got one lovely big top bunk, one lovely big bottom bunk, plenty of room for your guests to wriggle around in and uh, get that really good night's sleep that they deserve. There's a view forwards from by the berth. So you can see we've got a passageway down the side of the berth that just narrow down towards the head end. And at that end, you've got a nice big lob lobby for changing, sitting at the dressing table, etc., etc. Very nice indeed. Head height down here, well over six feet, as is most of, if not all of the boat. Fantastic. So instead of turning aft here, I'm going to open this door and take you into this compartment. Now, I did mention there's another compartment that left unfinished. This is the one, this would be the after head or the main head for the aft cabin, although it does have Jack and Jill. So we've got a Jack and a Jill door here or Jack and Jill. So we can get into here from the saloon without disturbing the occupants of the aft cabin or the aft cabin occupants can get into here without disturbing the rest of the saloon. And uh, as you can see, we've got a lovely large compartment, again, well over six feet high. This corner here has all been repaired. This is the steps up to the after deck on the starboard side. Uh, we're, we're plywooded throughout and uh, this has been left ready for somebody to finish it off. Goes without saying that really we need some kind of unit here, which was which, which was taken away and disposed of. Some kind of sink unit, cupboard unit, possibly shower unit as well. Uh, there is a little bit of the old uh, flooring left there, or the the old uh, the old grating. But um, yeah, lovely big compartment, plenty of room, and uh, could be yours to take take and make your own in whichever way you see fit. Uh, should be nice and easy. Uh, the owner did offer to white whitewash her out, etc., to make her look nice. But at my suggestion, we left it completely unfinished or unwhitewashed so that the new owner has a choice of materials or they can select what they want to adhere to that uh, bare material there to make sure it works proper. So there we go. There's the door. Lovely wood everywhere. I think you'll agree. But uh, here's the aft cabin. There we go. There's the bed. Nice and wide, nice and long. Proper double bed. There's storage beneath it as well and access to the steering gear right under the head end. But look at the lovely parquet flooring access to the bilge here as well we've got uh, island access around the whole bed so we can march down to the port side we can march down to the starboard side a little bit less room on the starboard side but nevertheless we can get into bed without crawling over over our partner uh, we and our partner we have got our own bedside cabinets with drawers and cupboards as well nice big uh, cupboard uh, sorry nice big Fiddle shelf at the back there, sliding cupboard there, and a bit of a, a wardrobe here as well. And an, a hatch up to the after deck, which we can leave open for ventilation. And of course, we've got all those openers letting lots of light and air in if they're open. Followed by, in the starboard forward cabin or the forward starboard corner, we've got a nice big uh, floor to ceiling almost mirror and a vanity unit there with a mirror and a fiddled shelf and drawer underneath. Absolutely lovely. And uh, we don't really feel any compromises. We do normally feel some kind of compromise on a cabin, on a boat, but here we've got full head height, we've got a full width berth, we don't have to crawl over a compartment, uh, our, our, our partners to get into bed, and we've also got access to our heads without uh, going into the rest of the boat. Really, really nice. There's the lobby going forwards, up to the companionway. So let's take a little look together, shall we? So back up into the saloon, very nice and easy companionway to access. Looking in the starboard aft corner, the windows all carry round, the curtains carry round. We've got an opening window over there too. We've got uh, L-shaped seating in the starboard aft corner here with storage below and I think the cabin heating on the starboard side underneath there. We have drawers down there and we've got a lovely large saloon table fitted or not fitted but placed on this boat now you can see we have a leaf here to make it wider still so we can draw these two chairs here up and have a nice big family dinner um this table does can move around because it's not fitted so uh, i definitely recommend the next owner finds a way of securing that in place if needed very easy job pretty standard to do but uh, somebody hasn't chosen to do it yet so uh, yeah very nice and comfortable we have a fiddle shelf all the way around too and uh, that leads nicely forwards to this 
fiddled shelf cupboard here we got a, a drawer we got a cupboard and then we get to the helm console or the helm area where you can see we've got a, it's actually a nice drinks cabinet here let's there we go nice feature <laughs> drawer above it as well and a, a really lovely helming area there so we've got a seat for certainly one you may perch one plus one on there or one here one perhaps perching on the edge there with their feet up we've got a nice footrest here we've got a, a, a little cupboard underneath the um the step there that's something that sea kip have put stowage in absolutely everywhere on this boat where there could be which is lovely here's the starboard companionway another sliding door which opens up very nice and easy to get in we just stoop slightly and we're in and uh, on the right hand side as you come in we've got the the wheel here we've got the uh, the engine throttles and gearbox levers we've got the bow thruster compass sitting in the middle of this lovely great big work surface here and uh navigation instrument electrical panel and electrical isolator down to the right hand side there really nice and easy right by the companion way so the first thing you do when you open it is a uh, switch on the electrics and uh, if you want them to all your lights will come on how lovely is that so uh, let's just look at the view forwards from the aft part of the companion way there we go very nice very light plenty of lovely wood lovely headlining and uh, yeah, really, really lovely to get about, feeling very classical, and I'm feeling rather special to be on this boat. While we're up here, we can see that we, uh, I mentioned vintage features earlier on, we've got a clock and barometer, we've got a clinometer, not inclinometer, as most people think, a little cupboard up there, we've got VHF, we've got wind speed indicator, we've got uh, depth, we've got uh, engine, coolant temperature, engine oil pressure, battery voltage, and tacos there as well as well as uh, access to, to control to the horns and wipers etc etc and a big ray marine radar display there lots of room up here to stow things but uh, need to be a bit careful we've got lovely great big fiddles here but uh, i wouldn't have too much rolling about here unless perhaps we subdivided it maybe might be a good one now here we have a lovely great big shelf that uh, i think is probably for use from the galley so as we're cooking and uh, serving it could all be uh, placed up here we might have to line it with something to stop this being damaged but uh, looks great but even if you don't use it from the galley we can put lots of stuff on it uh, the other option of course is to bring it via the companion way up to this area which we'll go down now and have a look so if we uh, just go down one two three steps and i'll just take a turn around and look at that companion way from whence we just came nice and easy we have access to the engine room through this forward hatch here as well should we need it very nice indeed and an extinguisher and uh, on the right hand side or the starboard side here we've got this area which i think most people would give over to over to navigation i think that's probably what's happened in the past because we've got some old charts lying here and look here we've got uh, bilge pump control here these are all very recent too and if we just look down we have another space down here so we've got uh, lots of safety equipment uh, some electrics and the battery charger there too now i do i do know that some people would uh, give this section away to a washing machine tumble dryer etc etc plenty of room in there for bits and pieces so something to consider consider so now if i just move this chair out of the way we're in the galley now proper kitchen at sea this one look at all this room kind of u-shaped to the port side parquet floor with bilge access and uh, the after section of the cabin we've got uh, lovely big cupboards drawers loads of workspace loads of storage on two levels for all your bits and pieces even a cupboard up here and as i mentioned you could probably pass things up to the saloon straight up there plates cups sauces etc on there to be taken away and used for well to, to be taken away and eaten let's face it so on the port side here we have window we have opening window we have opening hatch that's great for uh, cooking oil fumes etc and looking down you can see we've got a uh, double sink here really nice and easy to use right out on the port side cupboards and drawers underneath and then on the forward bulkhead you can see we have got the uh, the three burner cooker and i won't be able to do it one-handed i dropped it in the last video this doesn't hinge off it lifts and opens out but that gives access to the oven inside there you can just see down below just all, all out of the way probably nice and easy to keep clean and uh, looking up you can see we've got uh, more cupboards there lovely and uh, underneath that fiddle shelf we've got a nice fridge unit more drawers underneath etc etc so all very very conveniently placed and plenty of room and 
and manages lovely now there's the the door on the right hand side as you come down the companionway so to the starboard and through here if we just have a quick look we'll find the forward head so there we go now uh the finish off in here i believe is the original so it's a uh, of an age and of uh, a kind of a um feels uh, like it might appeal to a, a past generation but uh, i should think if you wanted to redo this you could probably reline it very easily lots of people are taking to tiling these days interestingly enough or tiling effects so that might be something that would really bring it into the here and now but not actually any real reason to do it if you're happy with it on the forward bulkhead you can see we've got uh, the sink unit here a bit of workspace storage below nice big mirror shower unit hatch above and a window to the right hand side there to let all the uh, the water condensation out and then moving after you can see actually what a large compartment this is we've got lots of headroom again and uh, looking down you can see we've got the head so the head's on the starboard side facing to port but uh, lots of room which is what so many boats are short of in their heads very good so door closed to that head we'll open this door which takes us to the forward cabin there we go, parquet floor carries on through, and uh, th there we have a bilge access, bilge access, more bilge access, which is great. We've got a hanging locker on the starboard side here with a fiddle shelf on top, and uh, as the uh, as we go through to the forward cabin, you can see that the, the massive headroom just carries on all the way forwards until it drops down at the forward part of the coach roof for the forward deck. Lovely hatchway above us, so light and air coming through there if it's open, and uh, you can see we've got uh, plenty of room inside here to get changed, so we can step inside here, close the door, we have our own lobby and uh, we're blatantly surrounded by lots and lots of storage underneath these beds we've got to, we're, we're rigged up in the single bed configuration but obviously if we take this cushion turn it around on the piece of wood plonk it in there we've then got a lovely great big double with less room for changing but uh, who cares when we've got a lovely big double like that down on each side we've got a nice fiddle shelf running forward and aft and uh, generally this compartment feels like it could be a really nice place for a weekend or longer. So this has been Tim from Boatshed Drop Brokers taking you through a quick tour around the inside of this Seakit 46. Thanks for watching. Hope you got an idea of what she's all about. More than anything, thanks for coming along with us. We love showing you these videos and you'll find lots more pictures, videos and virtual reality of this boat at BoatshedBrighton.com. Take care.